Well, we heard uh, retiring media buyer Harold Mitchell being pretty bullish about the outlook for the ad market on last week's show. Some more data this week. On that, from Sarcom Media Vest Futures, let's get the details from James Manning from Media Week. Yeah, uh, what, what's the predictions for the second yeah, half? We often have the people from Starcom on the show giving us their insights. 3.5% uh, they're predicting for the back half of calendar 2013, after the first half was actually down 1.7%. 80% of the market, as they interviewed, said they in fact will be spending more than they originally budgeted for. So good news. Good news, definitely. Um, now, news of the week, Gina Reinhart's lost her bid to force the West Australian to hand over uh, information which might have revealed journalist sources. Yeah, Steve Pennells was the journalist in question there and they wanted him to reveal his sources uh, for a story. He'd written a couple of stories he'd written from the West Australian but a ruling in the West Australian Supreme Court said, no, nope, sorry, you can't get that. So, more good news. And we saw three aged journalists, they escaped uh, prosecution uh, but they did admit to illegally accessing an electoral database. Yeah, a case back in uh, November 2010 was Royce Miller, uh, Nick McKenzie and Ben Schneiders. They said, yeah, look, we should have been more diligent. But they did point out, look, it was a worthy story we were trying to investigate, but you probably went about it the wrong way. Um, now, turning to magazines, Marie Claire Australia has published its first edition for the iPad. Yeah, look, they're calling it an iPad edition, but it's actually work on all tablets. So if you've got an Android tablet, you can get it too. It's a little bit cheaper than the uh, print edition. We talked recently about their new uh, net page software, so that's going as well. So there's lots happening electronically. And we saw some figures this week in the US that uh, digital uh, sales is one of the bright spots for US um, magazines. Um, September's going to be a big month for Bauer Media. Yep, uh, 30 Days of uh, Fashion and Beauty is back again. Right smack bang in the middle of that somewhere will be the launch of L. So there'll be a big lot of noise there. Uh, the other key brands are Harper's Bazaar, of course. Uh, shop to your drop, about to go fortnightly, so there'll be a bit of noise about that one too. And of course, some of their men's magazines, like Men's Style, also taking part. Um, turning to radio now, we had some data for ad revenue for July and a pretty good lift there. Yeah, it was about 57 million, about up 9%. So there's been a few small increases, but this was a good significant one for the radio sector. And this is, what, six consecutive months too that we've seen gains? Yeah, they've had a few, yeah, a few rolling on. The other ones have been quite small, so they'll be glad to see that this one's got a significant bit of punch in it and rolling through hopefully to a strong second half of the sector. News of an appointment too as well uh, for 4BC and 4BH in Brisbane. Yeah, Anthony Frangie's taken over from David McDonald as the uh, general manager there. Uh, David McDonald stepped down earlier this year. Anthony got the job as sort of an interim role, but a good appointment. He used to be a uh, high rating evening announcer for them. He's done a bit of radio management for, for the ABC as well. And just quickly as well, the uh, ARN has taken the wraps off iHeartRadio. Yeah, but it's uh, still in sort of beta, if you like, but anybody can get on and register and start it up. Official launch is coming later in September. It's a bit of a cross between iTunes uh, Radio, which is the app you can listen to live radio, and Pandora that we had a bit about recently on the show. Let's very quickly talk through the ratings for Week 31 free to air first. And uh, in terms of that, we saw the block numbers as you predicted yeah, last that was week. Yeah, the final night of the block uh, all, over, all over it there. And uh, as we predicted last week, a few uh, X Factor cropping up there. Um, on the next page, yeah, as well, we saw that continue through in the, the top ten. The subscription TV, the, the top five sport. Yeah, a bit of Ashes uh, cricket there. Again, all sport. Uh, big focus on the uh, NRL, AFL leading into the finals. And for non-sport on subscription TV, the top five there. The Simpsons yep, at number uh, one. And a movie down there at number five, The Watch. All right, James. Very quick. Thank you so much <laughs> for right. that. James running there from Media Week. And that's all we have time for on the program from the team here. Thanks for your company.